how to use Storyboard. Now, when you start, you're going to click first up here in the upper right hand corner where it says sign up. You put your school email address in and then a password, confirm the password, click sign up. I already created mine, so I'm just going to log in and show you what to do. Now, for me, I already created two stories. For you, you have not done that yet. So you are going to start out right here where it says create a story. Click here, enter a title. I'm going to enter the title sample story and then the context. This is a tutorial just because I'm teaching you how to use this site. Now there are a couple of different themes that you could use. I'm just going to go with, I'm just going to go with light. That is the default theme. Right now, the two things that are automatically selected are make the story source viewable and add character card. Leave those or uncheck character card. It's up to you. Scroll down until you get create story. And then this is what you will see. So each of these blocks is a part of your web page. So where it says start, see I have over here on the right hand side where it says start. I had the name. This will be for me. I'll start with page one. And then as you can see where I changed the name underneath name, it also changed it on the site. I can either choose to have the scene title or to hide it. That's up to you. And then I'm going to go over here to the content. This is where I can make a list. I can italicize, put everything in bold, or even if I have uh, HTML that I want to add, I can do that. I'm going to say, I'm going to keep this. This is where our story begins. You will have two choices of what to do next. And underneath, I already have two choices, which you can also see on the left in the green square as choice one, choice two. I can change those names. I can turn it into turn right and go north. I can also add choices if I want there to be more than one option. So one of those will be me, leave me alone. I'm going to add that as a choice. <clears throat> now, as you can see, the more choices that I add on my green starting page, it gives me the different options and this little button, which leads to either decision one or decision two. Now, if I, since I have two decisions, but only two possible scene, three decisions, but two possible scenes. I'm going to click add scene, move that over here. This all, this whole site right here is clickable and draggable. Then I'm going to connect this to the middle there. And now I have a new decision. So I'm going to go to decision one. This would, this was, I turned, I turned right. I can still add new content to if I turned right. I went to the store and got bitten by a Yeti. Now, as you can see from here, I can't move anywhere else. So I need to add some choices. So bite the Yeti back is one choice. Call for help is not going to be another one. And roll over and start crying will be my third choice. Now you can see from here, I can add more. I can continue to add content. I can add a, I can add an image, add a picture if I want. I can add audio. There's a lot of different things that we can do. But for our discussion, what I'm looking for is what are your choices, and from each choice, what can you do? Now, I worked on one scene here, but what if I want my scenes to interconnect? Well, I can do, 
this where go north and roll over and start crying lead to the same destination. Um, so very basically, now that I have a new scene, my new destination, crying in the north. I'm going to add my, I can add my content here. I was, I was bitten by a Yeti. So I started, I started crying. I'm going to add some more content to my list here, but hopefully you can see, get smallpox, or you can create as many different scenes as you want. You can create as many different connections. I can have this one go back to where it was. We get this one go back to here. It's one thing that you will see though, I can't have a choice go to another choice. You have to connect a choice to the beginning. You can't connect choice to the end of something. So you can have it where multiple decisions go to the go to the same scene. That's fine. It can be all interconnected, but as you can see, as I drag this around, my connections stay the same. So once you guys get in, start playing around, see what you can find, see what uh, see what you can do, and if you have questions, come find Mr. Huber.